now we are going to see something on read only memories read only memories means uh, where you cannot write anything okay like uh, during booting time you cannot write inside a memory right so how booting will happen so that thing is stored in the roms so that is what uh, they are talking about read only memories so you can see they are telling n input bits so you can pass n number of input bits and there are two raised to power n words of m bits so they are telling that there are two raised to power n words on the output bits okay so this is a simple you can implement any m arbitrary function of n variables okay so here three inputs and five output lines they have used so this is a simple schematic diagram they have shown of a rom now read only memory each mean term of each function can be specified so you see three bits are there so 0 0 0 means they are representing some function here 0 0 1 means they are uh, decoding like this so this is uh, the way you can specify the function based on the input now read only memory array so if this is the read only memory array so before that we have seen this this is a block diagram right so inside that how it will looks Imp it looks simply a connections fine so who will give so three inputs are there so eight combinations how you will get with the help of 3 is to 8 decoder here they are telling you see eight words but you are applying three input lines right so inside there is a decoder that decoder will take three input and give you or four eight outputs okay and based on that you will program the things and you will get after that f0 f1 so these are the programmable blocks so you can just program it and it will work according to your application now specify a truth table for the rom which implements so now you need to specify a, a truth table like f equal to ab plus a bar b c bar so g is equal to this is the functions now for a b c you are uh, finding the value of f g h so where you will get one for f you are getting this is the equation right for g you are getting and h you are getting this right now you implement that thing with the help of function implementation now you see here so this is the equation right uh, so now you are implementing a 3 to 8 de uh, decoder and you are passing that information and after that at the suitable point you are programming that thing so that is what the uh, they are telling that function implementation column is a new function note two output unused so two outputs are unused we are not using these two outputs till now so summary though this presentation we have covered number system boolean algebra gates design procedure for combination circuit examples for combination circuits and pdoms so this was all we discussed about uh, um, combination circuit in these slides so if you need to uh, no more information about these things you can refer digital design by morris meno okay so any queries in that thank you